Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and I've decided to start a weekend reading vlog right now. So I have been dying to read more historical romances, and I have two ERs that are historical romances, and then I also have another historical romance I'm reading for Romanceopoly-a-thon, which is happening right now. Romanceopoly is the year-long romance challenge that I do with Under the Covers. I'll link our website down below. You just have to read around a, like a Monopoly board and get different romance challenges completed and I've already actually finished one book already I just finished this like 10 minutes ago and it's the day of the Duchess by Sarah McLean it is book three in this series I definitely want to go back and read books one and two I don't read historical romance series in order I just read what sounds interesting or what fits a challenge this is a second chance romance it is our main characters are Duke and a Duchess and they've been married for three years but she the Duchess Sarah Serafina she goes by Sarah left and it's because something had happened and she left for three years and now she's back and she wants a divorce and he says he'll only divorce her if she will help him find a new wife so they invite a bunch of like women suitors suitesses i forget what word they like made up for that to kind of like fight to be his new wife and she has to choose and then that way he'll like get a divorce from her but the whole premise is that he doesn't actually want a new wife he wants her back so it's it was really good I really enjoyed it I think the beginning was pretty slow and uh, this is what happened with the friend zone so there is a definite trigger warning for miscarriage that is something that really affects our main character I I don't want to say that's a spoiler because it does happen in the very beginning of a book and that's something that I think is a very sensitive subject to some people so know that going in and I did not like the decision the author chose at the end of this book which I don't want to spoil anything but like this is the second book I've read why the author chose to do that so the beginning was a little slow but I really love the romance I love the groveling I loved how he kind of learned his mistakes in the past and it was so cute I really enjoyed this I think you guys should check it out I'm excited to read the rest of the series I do want to tell you that the third third book in the bare bare knuckle bastard series it's the cover's yellow i'll put it right here it comes out in the summer and there's actually a pre-order with the bookstore that is by where sarah lives and she is offering signed pre-orders with some swag so i will go ahead and link that independent bookshop down below if you want to buy that signed pre-order with uh i think it comes with a sticker i don't know if it comes with anything else but it does come with like a bare knuckle bastard sticker which is super cute I want to tell you that and then I do want to read the Highlander by Kerrigan Byrne. All I know about this is he is a lieutenant colonel. She is an English governess and she has arrived to take care of his children. So that sounds really good. She's a spinster which probably means she's like 25. So I like I said love Highland romances and I love 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 Kerrigan Byrne. This one is for the Romanceopoly challenge of reading a historical with like a uh, soldier and so he's like he's a lieutenant so that counts so I'm very excited for this I also have two e arcs from neck alley I'll talk about the first one that comes out soon so Eloisa James's new book say yes to the Duke comes out on May 19th I really enjoyed say no to the Duke that one was really cute and in this one I believe that our main character is a wallflower and she actually falls in love with a vicar and it says just when she catches his attention her reputation is compromised by a Duke and this duke wants her so he tries to win her and that sounds really good i am obsessed with this gorgeous cover and i really want to read this so i'm gonna read this this weekend and then i have a joanna shoop book which is the third book in the series i haven't read the first two um i don't think i need to but i made the mistake of going on neck alley and just requesting books so i didn't even remember requesting this book and then i got an email saying i was accepted so it is it's pink it is the devil of downtown and this one has already gotten really great early reviews from people who've read it it comes out in june so i know it's a while away but i want to try to read the arcs i have on neck alley because i have too many right now and so this says it's the final novel in the uptown girl series she oh yeah so she um dedicates her life to tracking down deadbeat husbands and fighting for fair work conditions so she's kind of like you know that do-gooder 
in society kind of thing and she has to team up with New York's brashest criminal it says that he's Manhattan kingpin brilliant mastermind a gentleman gangster so I think he's a criminal and she's gonna have to like team up with him to do what she needs to do in society so it sounds good and this one is the romance apple challenge of a historical that doesn't take place in London I think so it takes place in America which I'm excited for it typically when I read American historicals they're like western and i don't like those so this one is in new york so i feel like i might like that better but those are the four on my tbr and i'm gonna do some independent bookstore shopping i will go ahead and link down below some independent bookstores i have been buying from i know blue manatee is in ohio and they were offering 20 percent off your order so i ordered from them so i'm trying to support some local businesses some small businesses that are struggling right now so i'm gonna do that but yeah i will update you guys when i have something to talk about Hi you, are you happy? Are you happy? What about Miss Darcy Boom? Ah, what, what? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, <laughs> okay. I think everybody needs to start their morning being attacked by Lily because it puts you in a good mood. Um, hi, I don't know what lighting is good because it's really coming through that window. Well, there we go. So <laughs> Lily wants me again still. Thank you, baby, thank you. Hi. So I did a workout video this morning and I read probably 50 pages of this yesterday and it starts out very serious. So our hero, he had a pretty bad father who made him do things and our heroine is actually in like an insane asylum <laughs> in the beginning because of her husband who was really abusive towards her. So very serious she's gonna be his governess and so she's like terrified of him because she's been like abused for years and he's 40 and i think she's a, a bit younger so i'm very excited to read this i did want to show you though i got this shirt hello lovely sent me a lovely package and look how cute it just says stay inside and read books and if that's not my life motto, I don't know what is. I'll link Hello Lovely down below. It is run by Becca, who's amazing, and she promotes products by women for women, and it's like her romance-centered boxes. She has a lot of new merch up, so use Peace 15 to save. I did give this for free to show on my social media accounts, and I support Becca wholeheartedly, so I am so happy that I get to support her shop as a rep, and... I wear her products literally all the time, so I'm very excited. I just posted my book haul yesterday and I'm wearing my like yellowy mustard sweater that I literally wore in the previous book haul I posted. I swear they're two different days, but I just wear my sweaters with my t-shirts all the time. I have to finish my essay. I just have the intro and conclusion to write. It's over 13 pages already, but I'm in my last week, this upcoming week of my class, and then I get a week break until my new class. I have five weeks per class is how my master's is set up. So that's exciting. I get a week off. I'm going to do, a, I think I'm going to like tackle my big books that week, but I want to finish this today. Definitely. So yeah, those are my plans. And I was interviewed for a podcast yesterday, Laura. I will link her podcast down below. I think it's called like What to Read Next or something. It's not gonna go up until next month, but it was fun talking to her about romance. If you're interested in that podcast, I'll link it down below. And those are my plans today. So I've gotta go because of my puppies. I can't even see Darcy, she's there. She's adorable. I'll talk to you guys later. My hair is looking super frizzy right now, but I, you guys. I tweaked my back this morning while I was working out. I was doing a workout video where it was, I think I've told you about it before. It's the leg workout where you do 30 seconds of the leg workout and then you drop the weights and jump in that position for 30 seconds. And during a transition, I just did something and I was like, whoa, what was that? And I finished my workout, got ready for the day and I was fine. And then progressively throughout the day, my back has been hurting worse and worse in my lower back. And it just feels super tight and like I can't stand up straight without it bothering me. It just like I want to walk hunched over. <sighs> you guys, I already had to go to the emergency room on Monday for cutting off part of my finger. And now I'm like helpless. So thank goodness my sister has the next week off. She doesn't work again until next Friday um, because we were supposed to go to a signing this weekend in Nashville. So she had taken a day off and she works three 12 hour shifts as a nurse. So she, it's her weekend this 
next week so she's home for the week to take care of me she's currently getting us some blizzards from Dairy Queen because I'm just depressed because I definitely it's Saturday today so I definitely won't be able to work out tomorrow and run and tomorrow is my running day and I'm just praying my back like heals itself I'm gonna call my chiropractor on Monday to see if I can get in on Monday I think I can but my chiropractor is where I teach and that's a 30 minute drive from here so that's kind of annoying because I always go for my appointments after school and in the summer like once during the summer because I was going every like month and a half but I just don't like my back hurting I'm 26 and my body is like breaking down on me but I have read a little bit more of this and I love this color of this cover by the way it's gorgeous so on page 70 i'm gonna read more tonight and we're gonna watch outlander and then i'm just gonna read the rest of the night because i don't want to leave this couch and tomorrow literally i'm gonna read all day i don't want to do anything i'm already I have established i'm not gonna work out tomorrow and just be lazy all day i turn in my paper this morning all 14 pages of it for my master's class so i'm gonna read this some more miss lily has really understood that i'm feeling sad and she just hangs out next to me darcy's on the floor over there she was in my lap but oh that's what i'm gonna do today oh boy this is quite the look hi guys so um i don't even know what time what time is it like 1 30. No, oh my god it's 2 10 oh my god <laughs> I thought it was 1.30. Um, I am 200 pages into the Highlander. And what's so funny with an age gap romance is that I think she's like in her 20s. He's 40. And his son, I think, is like 15? I don't know. So she's really closer in age, I think, to the son than to him. And like he had, he knows she's hiding something, which she is. I won't tell you. But <laughs> there's a point where he thinks that they're having an affair, like, her and the son, even though he's like a teenager, and he's like, why didn't I see it before? They're obviously hiding something, and so he gets really mad, and I'm like, no, she likes you, but it's really funny, because like, that just shouldn't happen, but because it's an age gap romance, it's happening, so I think that's hilarious, but it's really good. She has a lot of issues with her past, so it's hard to like, trust people, and I really like it. She's a new governess, but like, she gets along really well with the kids. The issue is how the kids get along with their dad, because he's been gone pretty much their whole lives, as like, like this soldier lieutenant person and is just now coming home and like spending time with them so like they feel like they don't really know him that well so it's good I just filmed my wrap-up which I took like 30 minutes filming and I had to sit down for the whole thing I'm gonna read some more I'm hopefully gonna finish this today and start something new I do have to edit my wrap-up though we might watch Bridget Jones's baby because we love the Bridget Jones movies and Ed Sheeran's in that one and Patrick Dempsey what more could you want so I think puppies are gonna come in soon yeah just more reading hey guys so i have finally finished my book and lily is right underneath you staring at me see her little face <laughs> um anyways i finished and i'm giving it a super high four four and a half out of five stars so rounding that up to five this was really cute and it got cr like not crazy but like kind of actiony at the end which i enjoyed there were a couple secrets thrown at the end we got to see some dorian at the end who was from book one and i'm really excited because gavin's getting a book i know but gavin's book is two after this i think um he is like the scott one i forget what that one's called but these are really fun and really adorable and i really liked it and it was just a really sweet romance um i was looking at goodreads and Lacey said it was like the sweetest so far of the series this is definitely the sweetest because she is the governess and she just like slowly falls in love with him and it was very cute and i liked it if you like historicals you have to pick up the series it's so good i think i'm gonna read eloisa james's book next say yes to the duke and that sounds really fun so i'm gonna read that tonight and uh probably more tomorrow tomorrow's monday though so i do have to work and yeah hi guys so it is currently monday it's almost one o'clock i had a chiropractor appointment and she told me i should have been icing instead of using a heating pad so I'm icing my back currently and I did only read like 10% of the book yesterday. It's really fun so far. She is very socially anxious and to the point where she like gets sick anytime she has to be in a social situation. And so she is just like, I'm going to be a spinster and that's my life. And so a new vicar comes into town and she is like entranced by him. And so I know that she's like falls in love with his vicar, but then he is betrothed already and this other guy's going to want her and I think it's the guy that she saw at the ball in the very beginning in the first chapter so it's really fun so far I just could not get in a comfortable position last night and just gave up and tried to go to sleep so 
I'm gonna hopefully finish it today. I was just grading, so I finished my grading for the week. Um, really, like from last week, I finished all my grading, and I just need to check in and make sure kids are getting their work done. So, yeah, just working on my master's today, too. I have a test to take, it's like my final exam. So, it's 20 questions, but there's seven points each, which is very obnoxious. We have quizzes with five questions that are three points each, and now we have our big, like, final test and it's hard, so I have to do that today. But I'm just gonna tr attempt to mow the lawn. Our grass is really long, my sister doesn't mow the lawn. I, that's my job, and she's never mowed the lawn before. I would at my parents' house, I would switch off with my dad, and then when we moved, I mowed the lawn. I'm gonna try today. I think it won't be too bad on my back, but I also need to go to the post office because I have orders to pack, so busy day. Not gonna finish this vlog today. It was my hope to finish today, but that's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna go pack my orders, Move on and then read. Hi guys, this is my eBay order of 29 Joanna Lindsay historicals. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. I did put a twilight on in the background. I paused it because I don't want it to be in this video, but I was supposed to be reading and then I was on Twitter and I was like, I just really wanna rewatch Twilight because Becky Meyer announced Midnight Sun, which I'm super excited for. I was obsessed with Twilight in middle school really and early high school. I found my Twilight buttons going through my parents um, house over the weekend in my bedroom. They're redoing my bedroom this weekend and my Twilight buttons were in it, but I'm excited because I love Twilight and I loved it when they were only like two books out, but I don't have my original book because my sister dropped it in the bathtub. So my dad had to buy me a new copy. I don't remember which book it was, but I vividly remember, oh my gosh. So she wrapped, mm. anyways, I vividly remember her dropping in the bathtub and that's why I'm terrified of blowing away books to anybody. But they all came and they're all like saran wrapped, which I don't know how I feel about that. So I'm gonna have to unwrap every single one of these. This is gonna be quite the video. Let me just unwrap them and then I will um, show them to you. So you don't have to see me unwrapping 29 books. I do have to figure out which ones I own already and do a giveaway on my Instagram. So I'll probably post that in a few days. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. It's always down below. Any books that I already own, I'm gonna give away because this lot did have like nine duplicates that I already own, but I was paying a dollar a book and I was like, I can waste $10 to get all of the books that I needed. How many of these are there? They're so old and so cool. I love it when they have yellowed pages, like that does not bother me, so. Okay. Woo, this one has red pages. Is that normal? If any of you have red paged historicals? Oh, it's so pretty. They're so old and just, I love old historicals. Even though I just said I don't like letting people in my books, I don't care really if historicals are really damaged because cracked spines honestly make it easier to read, but I don't like the look of cracked spines, so if I buy it new, I can't crack the spine. But if the spine's cracked, it's a free for all. I can read it as much as I want like that. So there are so many books in here i am so excited some are wrapped in like threes and fours so that's good i wonder how long it took them to do all this oh it's so pretty you guys they're so pretty and this one doesn't even have a cracked spine and this one doesn't oh this is nicer than my own hearts of flame copy oh my goodness and i think lacy has some duplicates as well that she might want to give away at the same time as me so it's probably gonna be US only though because I once did a mass market giveaway of a signed copy of Dark Lover by J.R. Ward and someone, um, I think in Malaysia won, and oh boy, that shipping was like almost $20 for a mass market paperback. And it would have been, and I bought that book. I normally give away like duplicates I own, but I bought that book to give away. So I bought it full price and then gave it away for a lot of money, which I like. I love my international subscribers, but it's expensive, and I think you guys understand it's actually expensive for you guys to get books too. I know it's harder, but this video just lengthened by like 10 minutes because of this unboxing. If you're bored, I'll put a timestamp down below for you to skip all of this. But if you're here for the historical romance content and want to see some classic Joanne and Lindsay, who I've only read one book from, but I loved it so much, so I want to read more. Stay tuned. They did a really nice job packaging this though, so none of them got ruined in transit, which is very nice. I already own this one, thank goodness, because that one's got a lot of water damage on it. But for $29, I have 29 Joanna Lindsay books, and I'm so excited. Is this lighting okay? I feel like it's okay. Do you want me to shift over here? 
is that better maybe maybe the couch behind you it doesn't i don't know we're just gonna go with this angle i know i'm like half in the light half in the dark but my light's coming in from there and i need to be here so um i'm gonna go through all of them so i'm excited a pirate's love which i already own which is totally fine but this is a really nice copy so i might keep this for myself i don't know a gentle feuding look how gorgeous that cover is i love it so much we also have secret fire which i already own and this one's a really crappy copy so i'm glad i already own this one i also have savage thunder look at that cover all these covers are just so pretty and i'm gonna be looking up a lot because like i'm looking at the cover i'm showing and i'm probably not going to cut out between me showing you them like in between each one typically in a book haul i cut between each one i'm not going to cut 29 times so this is all just going to be going through silver angel which i was really excited for this one this one was one i really wanted and i had this with two others i think one of them was tender rebel as well i had these in my cart and they were three for 14 dollars, and i almost bought it and then this lot came up and i was like i almost bought three for half the price of this box of 29 books i'm buying it so shout out to sarah for pushing me to actually buy these because i was texting my group chat with sarah Lacey and our friend michelle and she told me go for it this one's gorgeous so speaks the heart oh i love that she likes our naked men on the covers go joanna whatever paradise wild i hadn't seen before and i really love that cover as well we have the magic of you this has a step back so this one's this one i think i have this one i don't remember and you belong to me which also has a step back not bad for a step back and then a heart so wild i know i have brave the wind i bought this from half price books but those two kind of go together as well another one with a step back is until forever oh this is with the naked man as well on the inside i don't know what is up with these naked people on these books so scandalous when did this come out that's why i had to be on the dust jacket not the actual cover let me see when this one came out 1995 i was two Oh, I love this cover. Love only once. Look how pretty that is. This one also has the yellow edges, which I'm totally fine with. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. Oh, Man of My Dreams. I don't think I've seen this cover before. I think I have this. I've seen the step back, definitely. This is like an iconic step back, but I don't remember ever seeing that cover. And then Keeper of the Heart, which also has a step back. I do own this one, but this one looks very nice. There's only one crack on the side, so I'm going to keep that one. And then we have Glorious Angel, which is also very beautiful and so pretty. Hearts of Thunder, just like a classic historical romance cover. These are just so classic. Oh, and then her legs go and wrap around the book. So you just get, bam, her leg and the text around it. <sighs> These are just amazing. And then this one... <laughs> I don't know if they've had that sticker there. Do they have that sticker over his butt? Because he's naked as well. And it is Tender is the Storm. I have to ask Lacey if she has that sticker on her cover. Oh my goodness. And then Hearts of Flame, which is the only one I've read by her. That is one of my favorites. And this one literally does not even have a cracked spine. Oh, I love, 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 love that. And then I know I own Gentle Rogue. That's pretty. And then this one, which I think I might actually own this one. Is this the first one? I don't know, but very pretty as well. I'm gonna have to get those stickers off. And then I know I do own Surrender My Love and it's got this step back, which isn't that exciting, but it's still fun. And then this one's the one with the, what is that? Like, that is so cool. I don't think that's natural unless someone like took a highlighter to the pages. I like it. This one's Captive Bride, which looks a lot like the, the pirate book. And then so pretty, When Love Awaits. Look at that. I don't know what genre this is historically, but he's got, there's a castle and he's got a sword. So, and I believe he is pantless as well. And then we have uh, purple tights for define out the heart. I might already own this one. I'm not sure, but look at those purple tights on him. That is a fashion statement. Then we have prisoner of my desire, which has this step back. That's pretty. I like that dress a lot. And look at her just like grasping her own leg so pretty then we have angel with this step back Ooh, i like that dress look at that looks like it's like western there's cactus in the back and then oh a fake step back i hate books like that i hate books when they do that there's not even like a step back on the back so a very anticlimactic ending but those are my 29 joanna Lindsay historicals that was 12 minutes of me doing that oh my god this vlog just doubled in length but 
that's what I have. So I will uh, continue watching Twilight and go read my other historical. Okay, bye. Hi guys, I am here to close out this vlog. I finished reading what I wanted to read of Say Yes to the Duke by Eloisa James. This one I ended up actually DNFing at 70%. I feel so bad saying that, but literally nothing was happening. It's taken me two days to read this book and I just like didn't care. So I gave it until 70%, literally can't even tell you what happened plot wise because nothing was happening. It was super insta lovey and our main character was like super shy in the beginning and got over it in like two seconds because, oh, he, she like, <laughs> she has an issue with like not really being a duchess and so she's like, I knew that he wouldn't judge me because she overheard him like saying something so she already knew how he felt about her so she just wasn't shy around him and then wasn't shy around anybody anymore and like, it was weird and I just feel like there was no plot and I wasn't a fan so I DNF'd it. I'm gonna give it two two stars it wasn't like horrible 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 like I did give one star books but I couldn't finish it so I didn't want to finish it I was feeling super slumpy I wasn't wanting to read I was reading like very very slowly and I didn't care so sad ending to this vlog and I'm not gonna read the Joanna shoot book because I feel like slumpy now in historicals after reading that so I picked up beach read by Emily Henry which I think I'm gonna vlog reading that whole book so that's gonna be my next vlog up is reading Beach Read because it's so good so far and I really needed a change of genre. So I'm gonna end this here. I'll probably read the Joanna Shoot book later since it does come out in June, but really disappointed in that Eloisa James book. It, I like her books, but there are some that I really don't like. So I did not like A Kiss at Midnight at all. I gave that two stars and then this one I'm giving two stars. So very sad but i hope you enjoyed this let me know if you want another genre specific vlog again i can do that and thank you for watching as always have a good day bye